Dear friends, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to study the endodontic anatomy of the mandibular second premolar. So this is the mesiodistal outline of the mandibular second premolar. So let's discuss the endodontic anatomy. The endodontic anatomy from the mesiodistal uh, outline, it is similar. The buccal pulp horn is prominent and the pulp chamber, it gradually tapers. In the root, the pulp canal, it also gradually tapers towards the apical one-third of the root. The apical foramen, it exits at the tip of the root, but sometimes a distal curvature is also present. So, in around 85% of the mandibular second premolars, a single canal is present. So, in the mandibular second premolars, the variations, they are quite rare as compared to the mandibular first premolar. This is the buccolingual section of the mandibular second premolar. This is the buccal cusp and this is the lingual cusp. So in the second mandibular second premolar, the lingual cusp it is well developed as compared to the first premolar. In the first premolar, the lingual cusp is very small. So now let's discuss the endodontic anatomy. So this is the buccal pulp horn. And this is the lingual pulp horn. So the pulp horns, they are quite prominent in the second premolar, especially the lingual pulp horn, which was not prominent in the mandibular first premolar. So the buccolingual dimensions of the mandibular second premolar pulp chamber, it is wide as compared to the mesiodistal dimensions. Now, in the root portion, there is constriction, a slight constriction, and the pulp cavity, it gradually tapers. And usually, uh, the apical foramen, it is at the tip of the root, but sometimes buccal or lingual apical foramen, it is also present. Now, uh, let's discuss the cross-section of the root. So, in the cervical portion, the cross-section of the root, it is oval in shape. This is the buccal side. This is the lingual aspect of the root. The pulp canal, it is also oval in shape and it is centered within the root. Nearly centered within the root. In the apical one-third or in the apical portion, the root, it is nearly rounded and the canal, it is present. It is also round in, rounded in shape. So with advancing age, there is reduction in the size of the pulp cavity because of deposition of the secondary and sometimes tertiary dentine. So the pulp horns, they become more blunt, they are not sharp anymore, and there is overall reduction in the size of the pulp cavity. Similarly, in the buccolingual section, there is overall reduction in the size. Pulp horns, they are not sharp anymore. Similarly, in the cross sections, there is a reduction in the pulp space. So, in summary, uh, the mandibular second premolars, they have two pulp horns and a single canal. In around 85% of the mm, uh, mandibular second premolars, so the variations, they are quite rare in the mandibular second premolars. So, thank you very much for watching this lecture. If you have any suggestions or comments, please do write in the comments below.
follow our Instagram account Dental Edu Hub for questions, images, and flashcards. Again, thank you and stay blessed.